When it comes to learning chords, there's two main things I consistently see with my students. So once they've got the chords, they can get them to sound clear, and they can even do strum patterns. Well, then it becomes A, a thing of being able to put all your fingers down at once, right? Which normally it looks something in the beginning. It looks something like one, two, then three. One, two, then three, right? Just putting one finger down at a time, which, you know, is because you're just getting used to it. Um, but eventually you want to get to where you can just put them all down at once. So one of the questions I get is how do I get there? So one of the things you can do is other than just continuing to practice them, which eventually you'll get to where you can put them all down, uh, a way we can quicken that process is go ahead and do a chord like say C major, for example. And then what you do is you just stop pressing down and then press down. Maybe lift your fingers off the string just a little bit, just a little bit, not so much that you're gonna uh, lose where you're at and then have to like refine the chord again, like oh, here, one, two, three. You wanna get keep it as close as you need to, even if that means not coming off the string but just depressing it. You just sit here and you work on pressing it down all three fingers at once. Like this, I'm kind of over-exaggerating that motion just so you can see. But then as you're uh, working on that, you can start to come a little bit farther and farther away from the chord. You know, even coming all the way off and back. And really eventually you won't even need to you know, do that. It's not really a long process. It's just something you can sit there and kind of work on getting like, there's the chord. That's you having a conversation with your nervous system, with your body, just telling it, put these down at the same time, right? Um, so this is one way you can work on just getting that. Okay, now the second question I get, or second uh, issue I, I see consistently is people being able to switch their chords to time, right? So they got their chords, they can get them to sound clean, they can do the strum patterns, but then there ends up being a little gap while they get the next one, right? Which obviously in music we need to be able to just switch right, to timing. So how do we work on this? Um, other than just continuing to play and play and seeing the progression where it gets quicker, uh, again, we can quicken this process by just isolating the problem itself. The problem is the switching. So the method I use is we take the right hand out, or the strumming hand, we take the strumming hand out, and then we just work on going back and forth, just the fretting hand working on going from your two chords. So like right now I'm doing G, to C, G to C. So you're just working on doing the switch itself. And of course, make sure to pay attention so that you know your fingers are going to the right spot. But this is the kind of thing that you can do when you're just hanging out, right? Maybe you're in the living room on the couch, even watching TV or whatever. You know, just make sure to get your fingers in the right place uh, as you're doing this. But uh, this is a method you can use to just quicken the process. And then the next thing that we'll do from there is just start to strum each chord once as you're doing it. This reintroduces the strumming hand, right? Because if you think about it from a coordination perspective, it's good to just isolate the one thing and then start to add in the added levels of coordination we need, like the strumming hand. So I'll have my students strum the chord once each. And then once that's feeling good for them, then start to add your whole strum pattern back in there. Okay? Um, so one thing to note too is anywhere we have chords that have, you know, say a finger that doesn't need to move, like right here with my G, when I go down to D, I don't need to move my ring finger. So if it's easy enough for you, what you can work on doing is just sort of pivoting on that finger. Like in other words, just leaving it in place while you move the other ones to be in place. So like G to D, that's one example. A minor to C is another example. So if here's A minor, to get to C, all I have to do is move my ring finger up to that third fret of the A. So that becomes my switch between A minor and C. Right, so like any combinations, like say F to C. See how I'm pivoting on my pointer finger? So any combinations where they have the same fingering, or any fingers that are the same, you can just leave those fingers in place. Like maybe a G to a C at nine, right? You can leave these fingers in place and just take that middle and pointer and move them up and down. 
okay? So, just talking about chord switching here. Again, as you get used to it, you add your strum, then you add your full strum pattern. you can just work on getting yourself up to speed with your chords and chord switching okay so try that out I hope it works for you I've used it with a lot of students and it definitely quickens their progress um, to where it's not such a long process uh, one other thing too about when you're working on these chord switching uh, it can be a little daunting right it can seem like a bit much but don't give up just keep going because if you make it a slow process or you're kind of like dragging your feet about it and that kind of thing and you make it take, you know, longer, you make it take forever because you're just not putting in the time and like the eager focus, um, then honestly that can become an easy deterrent to just putting guitar down. Okay, so, you know, one of the things I tell my students is you really, when it comes to your chords and getting your chord switches and all that stuff, just go all in just you know really tackle it so that it's not such a long process so that like you know over the next couple few weeks you're seeing the progress you're like i'm getting it i'm getting it you know and for some people it's going to be pretty quick for others longer that doesn't matter that's fine that's just you know wherever you're at with it you just sit there and work with yourself and get them to sound as good as you can and get those chord switches on time and you know get a lot of sound musical so i hope that helps have fun keep rocking out Peace.